difference amplifier, or differential amplifier, is an electronic circuit built using an op-amp that amplifies the voltage between two input signals while rejecting any voltage common to both inputs. A typical configuration has a negative feedback loop and four total resistors. In order to determine the gain of this amplifier, we can first solve for the voltage at V plus using a voltage divider. Using Kirchhoff's loop law, we know that the current through this first branch is going to be equal to the current through our feedback loop. Our ideal op-amp condition states that V plus is equal to V minus. Therefore, we can plug our V plus equation in for V minus. This gives us a V out equation in terms of both V2 and V1. If we set R1 equal to R2, then the voltage output is just V2 minus V1. Now that we have our gain equation, we can begin designing our differential amplifier. Here in LT Spice, I'm going to construct our typical configuration. In this first example, V2 is 100 millivolts, while V1 is 50 millivolts. This means we are going to be amplifying the difference which is equal to 50 millivolts. If R2 is 100 kilo ohms and R1 is 10 kilo ohms, then our voltage out should be equal to 10 times 50 millivolts. The simulation graph shows that our green output reaches 500 millivolts. Our original signals are shown in blue and red, clearly smaller than our amplified output. I now want to show the common voltage rejection capabilities of this amplifier. If we model random 60 Hz noise as another voltage source, we can see that our voltage out graph is quite affected by this change. However, let's say we have the same noise on both inputs. Another run of the simulation shows a clear rejection of that 60 Hz noise, or common voltage between the inputs. If we have the same voltage signal on both inputs, we'll be sitting somewhere in the 0 to a few nanovolts range at voltage out. One last thing to keep in mind, if V1 is greater than V2, the polarity of our amplified signal will be inverted. The math is the same, but it will look more like an inverting amplifier as shown by the simulation. That pretty much sums it up. Remember that using the formulas from earlier will allow you to find the V out for any combination of resistors. For this particular video, I made the resistors on the left the same and the resistors on the right the same, because this is a common configuration.